Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem, which is part of Lead Code um, October Daily Challenge. Um, so it's um, integer to Roman. Um, basically, what the problem asks us to do is convert a number to a Roman representation. And it gives us the mapping. Um, and basically, these v numeral values n map to these Roman numerals. Um, and then you can kind of add for a number to construct it use these to add to add the symbols together to construct the number what does that mean so for example two is just one and one right one plus one so we represent it like this um 12 is 10 plus one plus one so we represent it with 10 then with two ones um 27 it's 10 two times so that gives you 20 and then five and then one twice so we have x x for 10 10 so 20 and then this one for five and this one for two so that's the idea except there are a couple of numbers that are a little bit special um for example four we obtain it by putting one before five which would mean when you put a smaller symbol before a bigger symbol we subtract so that would be 5 minus 1 which is 4 or for example putting 1 which is this um, symbol before 10 this symbol that would give us 9 right so uh, i x you can think of it as a 9 and the smaller thing for um, 40 which would be x l so it would be like um, 10 minus 50 which is uh, 40 or similar thing for 400 and 900 you get the idea so basically we have we have this mapping and then we have additionally these mappings here that we can write um, and use okay so let's take a look at an example three well three is just um, one three times right there is no other number close that we can represent three but w with right um, 58 is 50 plus 5 plus 3 right so 50 5 3 so the sum that's 58 um, if we take a look at 1994 that's 1900 um, uh, what is this one M again so M is a uh, 1000 right so CM that's like um, CM is like 900 because it's um, C is 100 so M is 1000 so 1000 minus 100 that will give us um, 900 um, and then X is um, XC it's 100 minus 10 so that gives us 90 and then 4 this is 4 right so that's how it works here um, now let's see how we can solve this. Um, okay, so the first thing we need to think about is that if you have like a, a large number, it's always better to pick the largest symbol, right? So if you have, let's say, um, let's pick a couple of examples here. So let's say if you have 1001, then we, we want to pick for 1000 first, the higher number. So that would be M and then do for then do for one right if you have like 100 500 20 something 30 or 30 so first we pick use the largest number so that's m and then 500 we already have that so that's the, uh, the second largest one so that's d and then we are left with 30 um well we could do 10 why three times right um these only apply for 40 here or 90 so we have to pick th three times so we pick that three times right so the idea from this is basically let's just create a map of these mappings eh, including these ones uh, particular ones here but create them in a map that is sorted in descending order and then that way we can just go through the values in the map and just subtract from bigger to lowest exactly like we did here and each time we get the 
convert we convert the, the, that single value using this mapping and then we subtract the number until we get the what we want so let me just copy over the map i won't write it by hand again but the idea is to start out from the biggest symbol the biggest value for a symbol which is 1000 maps to m then the second one is actually 900 here which maps to cm right and then after that the second the one smaller right smaller than that is d for 500 and then after that is actually 400 for c d right and you get the idea we keep going and we put everything and the last one would be one which is here okay we put four as well which is um just i and the number for f the symbol for five so five minus one so once we have that map um well we just construct our string um let's call it roman maybe um and we want to go through each of these in order of descending order so it would be from the highest one to the lowest one which is the order we put manually here um and then we check if while our number right is bigger or equal to x so for example for 1000 one so while this is bigger than 1000 so the first x will encounter is 1000 right so while it's bigger or equal we want to subtract that from x but we also want to add to roman whatever value is represented by that x right and to get that we just say mx so imagine for example we had 200 2001 okay so what we will first do here is we'll check one we will check 1000 well the number is bigger and so we subtract it so now the number is now the number is equal to this and now res is equal to m right and we go again here to this while loop because the number is still bigger we'd add m again and we subtract 1000 so now the number is just one um, and then we go now we uh, we go down right because the number is no longer one is actually smaller than 1000 so it's no longer this while loop is no longer valid so we go to 900 900 is bigger we go to 500 it's bigger and we go all the way down to one and now we find that one is equal so we add the roman representation for that which is here is just uh, m of one which is i so we add it and now we subtract right and number becomes zero and zero is not bigger or equal to one and so we skip and now m we we are done processing because m is done and that's pretty much the idea here um you can run a couple of other examples to, to just make sure that it works but it's always better to pick the largest value subtract it and then um and then proceed to the next one uh okay so we return our result here which is roman literal and then we run this And that passes right um now in terms of time this is o of of course of like just the length of m which is roughly constant right um and this is the just how many numbers we how many subtractions we do so overall roughly it's probably just o of num at most um because we subtract at least one right um, and so overall, this is of nums uh, time and space. We are using this um, fixed size map, so it's of one space as well. Okay. Um, okay. So this is this solution here. We can actually do another solution that doesn't need this mapping to be ordered, um, and that would be a recursive solution. So what we want is we want to co convert some number x, right? And we will call it to convert um, num, right? And then we will return that. So what is our base case? Um, if the number itself is in M, then we want to just return that value, that representation, ROM representation. Otherwise, we want to start from the highest possible value. So for example, for 2001, we will check if 2000 is in, um, is in our map. If it's not, 
let's go down. If it's not, if it's not, let's go down un until we found uh, a number that is in M, and that number would be the highest number, right? The highest number that is small that is um smaller or equal to the number we are converting, right? So what would be here is for value in the range of x, we go down minus one minus one. If that value is in M, then we want to return it. But we want to also convert the rest, right? What is the rest? The rest is just x minus v. Um, and then that's pretty much it here. Um, we will always find it, right? Because we are guaranteed to have a valid conversion. So you can imagine for 1000, what will happen here is we will go from 1001. Right, um, 1001 is not in M, we'll go to 1000, 1000 is in M, and so what we'll do is we will add representation of 1000 plus whatever conversion we get for 1. And then when we loop again and come here, 1 is already in M, so we'll return this I, okay? So that way we'll return this I and it will be added here. Let's take another example, let's say 2001, what will happen here? We will keep going down until 1000, and so we'll reach 1000, it's in M, so we'll return 1000, which is M, the, conver the symbol for that is M, plus the conversion for 2001 minus 1000, which will give us this, right? And so that will give us, end up giving us what we found in the previous example, um, which is MI, okay? And so at the end, it would be like this. Okay, so that's the idea here using recursion. Um, let's run it and submit. Okay, so that passes test case as well. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's problem. Please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.